guys. I wanted to do a quick little video giving you a tour of our pig barn that we built and our pig pens that we built this fall. Um, I haven't had a chance to do it, but I wanted to just go ahead and do it now. Uh, we've got quite a bit of snow here, so you won't be able to see things as good as you would have in the summertime, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so this is what it looks like kind of walking up to the pig pen. This whole area was completely full of trees and we cleared all those out. We also have a whole bunch of trees over here that we cleared. And that over there is our straw for the pigs in the pig barn. But anyways, yeah, we cleared all this spot out, all the trees out, that's our big burn pile. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of work. Cole and my grandpa and myself did all that. And then Cole and my grandpa basically built this pig barn by themselves in like three days. This is amazing. And then Cole and I pounded all these posts by hand and put in these hog panels. And we also have um, electric wire run on the inside as well. Just on this pen for now, with the ground freezing, I find that the pigs aren't rooting as bad, but it's just there um, in case I need to use it, especially in the summertime when they start really rooting around and the soil is damp and yeah, that'll just help keep them off of the fence lines. But anyways, um, this is the farrowing pen. The smaller pen here is going to be for when we have sows that are having piglets and for the first few weeks of their life before we introduce them to the rest of the herd. I don't remember what you call a group of pigs. Um, these are the sows. They're all Berkshire crosses. The littlest one on the end here, she is a full Berkshire. And the other two are Berkshire Hampshire crosses. So this is the sow pen. This is where all the girls hang out and stay together for the most part. And then um, Hamilton's pen, that's our boar. He gets his own little pen over here. And we have a gate going in between each pen and we tried to keep these gates as solidly reinforced as we could and as low to the ground as we could with still being able to open them and honestly they are kind of a pain to open still but I'd rather that than them dig under it and if they do start digging under it then we'll have to make some changes obviously put a board down or hot wire or something but they each have their own little spot to go into their barn and inside the barn there's little dividers that you can take out. So Hamilton's gonna stay in his pen until we decide to put him in with our sows when we're ready to breed them. And the cool thing is with the gate, it's really easy to move them back and forth from the pens. So I will go and show you guys now in the barn. <laughs> It's um, mid-afternoon and apparently they think it's time for supper. Okay, let's go look inside the barn. We haven't put any other work into this side of the barn. We're going to set it up a little bit for farrowing so that the piglets don't get crushed because that's a worry that you have with pigs, the sow crushing them. Um, hopefully you guys can see. There we go. So yeah, the barn is sectioned off and they have a bunch of straw in here to burrow down in. And uh, we had to put these on top because the pigs actually lift these boards up, we found. So that's another precaution that we had to take. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some like bars up in here that the pigs can go underneath the baby pigs so they don't get crushed. Right now the side's just kind of some storage. We had another pig in here before we took her to butcher. But yeah. And then we'll have sliding doors at least on this side so that we can keep the pigs and their mama in when they're really little so they don't roll out the door here and get stuck outside. and hungry.
the whole barn is insulated. It's really warm in there, actually, when it's cold out. These pigs keep it really nice and toasty in here. I believe it's six foot high in the front and four on the back. Even the roof is insulated. Nice tin roof. Really happy with this pig barn so far. It's doing a great job. And then we built this actually really cute little barn door. Well, Cole built it, I didn't. But it works good and it's really cute. Yeah, yeah so that's our uh, pig barn. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. Um, Definitely feels really great to have that going into winter time. We kind of put it in at the last second just because of lack of time, honestly. So it's awesome to have the pigs in a nice secure area and know that they're cozy and warm on the cold days and we don't have to worry about that. It's great to have that. We definitely would not have kept pigs over the winter had we not had something like this. Pigs are definitely um, hard to contain at times, so it's really important that you have good fencing for them. So if you guys have any questions about our pig barn or want to see any other things, yeah, feel free to shoot me a comment or give me a message or whatever. I'll try to answer it as best I can. But in the meantime, I hope you guys take care. Bye.